attention that your forms embed a lot of this stuff. They don't tell you about it, but it's there. Huh? Well, Dillman tends to, he's into this, yeah, no, he's into this TCM thing where, um, to give you an example, okay, no, 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 he, he grabs me, okay, I want to do this and that, okay, never thought of that, huh? but anyway, the idea is I am taking a fire element, I am putting it on his um, metal element, and I'm using a metal element to strike a wood element, okay? This is all nonsense, <laughs> all right? Um, yeah, it revolves around a cycle of destruction, uh, fire burns metal, metal cuts wood, uh, and all this kind Rock, of stuff. Paper, paper, so. <laughs> I don't have to know any of that, okay? I just have to know that when he grabs me, that lateral forearm that I showed you, if I hit it, I'm going to get this. And then I'm just going to whack into it. Again, no open hands Why? in police control. Okay? Why? No attacking joints, no open hands. Because it's dangerous. A fist is less dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> Much less. Well, when you say open hand, so you mean because I'm coming in from the side, or I'm coming in? No, none of what you consider should go. Okay, never, never. I don't know shoot A shoot I'm taekwondo. This, this is <laughs> okay. So now, knife head. So now, okay. I, I told you I have the unfortunate <laughs> habit of saying things in the language that I first learned. All right. So, right. so but, but why is it dang more dangerous with the open hand? Because it's a smaller surface area. Um, again, you were taught things in ways to make them less dangerous. So you were taught that when you do a knife hand, you're attacking here with the pillow. That's to make it less dangerous. Okay? Here. Nothing, right? I'm going to change it just a little bit. Right. Feels very different, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 You were taught to use this instead of this. But Shinto knife hand, sword hand, does this look like a Japanese sword? Or does this look like a Japanese sword? Yeah. Okay? So when later on you, you learn a fist this way, I hope you learned it this way and not this way, right? Well, I learned it this way originally. Okay, that's right. Yeah, we don't do that. Yeah. All right? Quiet. Yeah. Later on, you learn this. Now, why do you learn this? Okay? Make a fist and then just try and move it. Really stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Straighten your index finger. Now move it. Ah, uh -huh. really easy, right? Yeah. So now I have the ability to get little bony pieces into little places that I didn't have before. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that one, when I want to attack specific areas, mm -hmm. I can do it. This is just blunt trauma. And of course, there's nothing wrong with blunt trauma. Every martial artist in the world loves it. Okay, but if I'm hitting here, doesn't do much. We go here, all of a sudden the picture changes. I didn't hit you any harder. No, you did Okay, so you lit up the whole arm. Okay, so you sit in the back seat and complain. Yeah. Um, th does that answer your question? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Thank that you. the the idea is um, the Marines used to have it force on target. That was what they needed. They needed to be able to put force on target. Because if it's not on a target, it's useless. So you pick your targets and you put force on them. And when you learned it, you learned uh, here, mm -hmm. here, yes, and something else. Okay, but this is a lousy target. 
okay? Uh, because this actually, if you hit it, it's annoying, but it doesn't do anything. It's actually a rope point, okay? Um, and if you hit it, chances are you'll end up with his teeth in your fist, all right? But they just pick targets as you're learning. Uh, high, middle, low. Okay, high, middle, low. That's it. All right, there's a hell of a lot more targets, but they have to start somewhere. Okay, I'm sorry? Yes. Oh, they, they have to start somewhere. So you learn these basic things, but as you progress, you learn other things. I said that most of you are a few years away from retirement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you got Medicare, and that counts. Uh, <laughs> um, most of you are a few years away from um, most, most of Kyushu, most of that aspect of the art. Um, you combine these with waveforms. And you have a devastating combination, but most of you are a few years away from waveforms as well. Okay? But putting the two together it is uh, really effective. Um, here, let me pick on this guy. Yeah. Uh, I can. Nothing happens. But if I drop a wave from here, it feels totally different. Yeah. And I'm not working harder, mm -hmm. but it's almost internal. You, it sends a shock yeah. into the body. So if you were to do that little hammer fist trick with that waveform, <laughs> chances are a guy be on the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this is stuff that comes later. It's not something that you start with. Okay, remember your black belt is being.